In at number 10, Tish and Billy Ray Cyrus. Tish and Billy Ray are getting divorced for the third time, just five years after they called off their second divorce. Tish is the person who filed for a divorce on April 6th after 29 years of marriage. The couple share five kids together, including the legendary Miley Cyrus. In 2010, Billy Ray was first to file for a divorce, but called it off after a few months. Tish then filed for her first time in 2013, but the couple reconciled just 10 days after that. So there is a chance this third time might also be called off, or there's a chance the couple has unanimously decided that they should no longer be together. In documents obtained by People, Tish cited irreconcilable differences in the legal documents and revealed that her and Billy Ray have not lived together for more than two years. The couple released a joint statement, saying in part, quote, It is after 30 years, five amazing children, and a lifetime of memories, we have decided to go our separate ways. Not with sadness, but with love in our hearts. We've grown up together, raised a family we can be so proud of, and it's now time to create our own paths. And at number 9, Tom Schwartz and Katie Maloney. As a huge fan of Vanderpump Rules, this news is incredibly heartbreaking, but not all that shocking after last season. After 12 years of being together, the couple have announced that they will be divorcing. After reading the statements, it's clear that this was Katie's decision, and Tom is having a hard time coping with his new normal. In our Instagram statement, Katie wrote, quote, After 12 years on an adventure through life together, Tom and I are ending our marriage. This ending is not met with resentment or animosity, no sides to choose. We have deep admiration for one another that will always remain and we cherish our friendship. Tom wrote in his caption that he quote, fully respects Katie's decision and that it would be far sadder if she decided to stay with me while not happy. After revealing more about the reasoning, Katie has admitted that she didn't feel supported by Tom and felt that he never truly had her back. And after watching last season, it's clear to me that Schwartz has some growing up to do and needs to prioritize his wife over friends like Tom Sandoval. If you've watched Vanderpump Rules and you saw last season where they're fighting about the bar, please let me know your thoughts below. It is one of my favorite reality shows, mostly because I've just grown up watching it and um, I'm so invested in their relationships and it's so sad to see that these two are splitting up. In at number 8, Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers. Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers had an incredibly fast paced relationship. Before the public even knew they were a couple, Shailene and Aaron were engaged. It seemed to everyone that the pair were soulmates and were going to be together forever. Until it was announced that Shailene broke off their engagement. The former couple first met in 2020 and soon sparked romance rumors. Rodgers confirmed the relationship during his acceptance speech for the NFL Honors Award, thanking his fiance. Woodley confirmed the relationship as well in an episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, showing off her engagement ring. The pair briefly got back together after ending their engagement to try and work things out, but sources say that Shailene is now 100% done. A source said, quote, Shailene tried to give it another shot and was spending time with Aaron, but she quickly saw that everything was on his terms and nothing was going to change. There was no reason to continue and she's done with it. And at number 7, Garrett Hundlin and Emma Roberts. After an incredibly messy on and off again relationship with Evan Peters, Emma Roberts Roberts quickly moved on to Garrett Headland. Then, out of nowhere, the couple announced they were expecting a child together. The pair seemed very happy and excited for their child, but shortly after the birth of Rhodes in 2020, the couple has split. An insider said of their split, quote, It's sad and they are trying their best to co-parent. It's been hard. The couple started dating in 2019, welcoming Rhodes in December of 2020. At the time of the birth, Emma posted to Instagram writing, quote, Thank you 2020 for getting one thing right, our bright light Rhodes Robert Headland. In at number 6, Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet. This power couple was one that seemed like they would stay together forever because of how highly Momoa spoke of Bonet in the press. But sadly, on January 12th, the couple announced in a joint statement that they would be ending their marriage, saying, quote, We have all felt the squeeze and changes of these transformational times. A revolution is unfolding and our family is of no exception. A revolution is unfolding and our family is of no exception. Feeling and growing from the seismic shifts occurring. And so we share our family news that we are parting ways in marriage. After the split, Momoa was seen living in a van that was camped out on his friend's property. There were also rumors that the pair might be getting back together, but those were false. While talking about these rumors, Momoa said, quote, Oh, no, 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 we're not back together. We're family, you know. We have two beautiful children together. We're family forever. At number five, we have the queen of pop, Britney Spears, and her ex husband, Kevin Federline. I think it's safe to say that once Britney first made the announcement that she would be walking down the aisle with her former backup dancer turned lover, the world seemingly knew 
they'd be a disaster waiting to crash. But people were surprised when Britney and Kevin began having children together. Still, fans were wickedly anticipating a divorce announcement from Britney and Kevin at the time. Their relationship lasted a brief two years before Britney apparently blindsided Kevin with her filing for a divorce. However, supporters of the pop star weren't nearly as disturbed by it, of course. At number 4 we have previous Keeping Up with the Kardashian love stars Kris Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner, who formerly went by Bruce Jenner back when they were married. One thing I can tell you for sure is that at the beginning, their relationship seemed picture perfect. They had the typical solid match made in heaven type of romance, apparently, uh, but this soon changed as Chris began growing more and more successful with their family becoming just as famous. This is where Chris and the previously Bruce's relationship would experience major change. By the time the reality show hit its fourth season, it appeared Chris and Caitlyn couldn't really stand to be around each other. However, in probably the most surprising feat on today's list, both reality stars managed to make it all the way to season 8 before they finally put a wrap on their marriage. Still, this one was deemed by fans worldwide to be a marriage destined for failure for a long time coming. At number 3 we have comedian John Mulaney and his ex-wife and artist Anne-Marie Tendler. The couple shared a 6 year long relationship and a dog prior to the end of their romantic ties. John would very frequently make jokes regarding their relationship during his comedy stand up routines, including one in 2018 where he referred to Anne as a dynamite female dog during his Kid Gorgeous special. We'll never know if the jokes on top of the other BS became too much for Anne in the end, but the pair officially headed for Splitsville in July. Their divorce announcement followed a few short months after John was admitted into rehab for substance abuse back in December 2020. After this, he would go on to date actress Olivia Munn, where he continued to stir up relationship news drama. The most shocking thing for fans of Olivia and John was the announcement of their then soon to be welcome child, born in November 2021. John has headlined just about every pop culture news outlet you can think of nowadays for the way he broke things off with Anne. At number 2 we have formerly married to some Chris Pratt and Anna Ferris. These two public icons are very heavily part of Hollywood's former it couples because everybody loved them. However, even with this, it seems that there were a few fans who weren't all that surprised by their eventual separation. In 2018, their divorce was announced from the original marriage in 2009, and Anna has been vocal about feeling as if she was forced to split with Chris after 8 years of marriage, but she has since re-fallen in love with cinematographer Michael Barrett. Chris is currently married to Hollywood royalty Katherine Schwarzenegger. Still, Anna and Chris first met during a 2007 table read for their sharing starring roles in the film Take Me Home Tonight. In the end though, Anna became angry over fans' reactions to her split with Chris and the picture perfect family image she tried her hardest to create that crumbled right before her eyes. At number one, we have the world's least shocking couple to divorce to date, Miss Kim Kardashian and her rapping ex husband Kanye West. With the spiral both their relationship and Kanye himself was headed into, it wasn't a shock to Kim Ye fans when the former celebrity couple decided to part ways. It seems non shocking ends to marriages run deep in the Kardashian family too, as of course we need to honorably mention Chloe's failed marriage with her previous partner Lamar Odom. Still, Kim and Kanye have been dubbed as today's incoming split just bound to happen according to fans and viewers of the Keeping Up With The Kardashian reality show. Apparently their fate was set in stone as far back as them tying the knot in 2014, according to many. Reportedly the once powerhouse duo constantly butted heads in their later years due to their rising careers and demanding schedules. Words of Kim once stated, he should have a wife that supports his every move and travels with him and does everything, and I can. This was back during the series finale of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, where she cried during her confession. Ironically enough, Kim was also the one who filed for divorce back in February 2021. She later explained to Vogue that her reasoning for them separating was actually because she made the decision to put herself first. Quote, Even if that created changes and caused my divorce, I think it's important to be honest with yourself about what really makes you happy. And while Kim Ye once held the title of star-crossed lovers in the beginning, Kanye is still intent on making their marriage work once more, even with Kim wanting to move on. Since then, Kanye had posted a number of direct Instagram uploads for Kim, with one stating, God please bring our family back together, from a since deleted post. However, Kim seemed content with continuing forward, as she was soon romantically linked to and later confirmed to be dating her now ex-boyfriend Pete Davidson. I'm sure you know how these events have played out at this point, and if not, well, you're in for quite the wild ride. Number 10, Shakira and Gerard Piqua. Shakira and her longtime partner, Spanish soccer player Gerard Piqua, went their separate ways in June 2022. We regret to confirm that we are separating, the two said in a statement released by Shakira's public relations firm. For the well-being of our children, who are our highest priority, we ask that you respect our privacy. Thank you for your understanding. The singer met the football player on the set of her music video for Waka Waka This Time for Africa in 2010. Together they had two sons, Milan and Sasha. Number 9. 
Bella Thorne and Benjamin Mascolo. Bella Thorne and her fiance Benjamin Mascolo have broken up and called off their engagement. The 28 year old Spanish singer Benjamin confirmed the news via Instagram on June 2nd writing, I wish only the best for this person and I will always be there for her. I love you. Mascolo proposed to the 24 year old actress with a pear shaped diamond ring in March 2021 after nearly two years of dating. An insider told People, their conflicting schedules led to a lot of time apart that eventually resulted in the breakup. These things do happen. Number 8. Candice Akola and Joe King The Vampire Diaries cast member Candice Akola filed for divorce on May 24th from the Frey member Joe King. Candice subsequently moved to Nashville from their Brentwood, Tennessee home. The estranged couple got married in October 2014 and together had two daughters, Florence and Josephine. Number 7. Jen Armstrong and Ryan Holiday Real Housewives of Orange County star Dr. Jen Armstrong filed for legal separation from her husband, Ryan Holiday, on May 13th this year after almost eight years of marriage. The cosmetic MD cited irreconcilable differences as the cause of the split and listed the date of separation as September 8th, 2021. They shared three children together, twins Vera and Vince, and their son, Robert. Number 6. Lenny Hochstein and Lisa Hochstein Lenny Hochstein announced to Page Six on May 16th that he and his wife Lisa, who starred in Real Housewives of Miami, were getting divorced amid his romance with model Katharina Mazipa. This is a very difficult time and I would ask for some privacy so that we can best take care of our children who mean the world to us. The former couple shared two children, son Logan and daughter Elle. Number 5 Channing Tatum and Jenna Dawin While it seems to be a trend of couples meeting on the set of movies and getting together and becoming couples, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dawin were no exception as the pair started dating shortly after they worked together on the iconic dance movie Step Up. Although it looked like things were going extremely well for the pair, they would show the world that there were signs that things were off for months before they announced their divorce. Jenna would even open up about the couple's last months together in their relationship in her book. This is when she would claim that the two were only hurting each other by staying together. Also leading up to the couple's divorce, the couple were often seen sharing words out in public before heading out and getting snapped by the media in several photos. And after the public arguments, it would seem like Jenna would rather look at her cell phone than talk to Channing. Number 4, Blueface and Krishan Rock. Lately it seems like Blueface and his girlfriend Krishan keep making headlines for all the wrong reasons. If you've been online for the past few months, then you probably have seen the viral videos and tweets of the rappers going viral with the rise of the couple's reality show Crazy in Love. However, while some users view the relationship as entertaining, I think we can collectively agree that their relationship is pretty toxic. As we have seen the two enter into some pretty concerning altercations. The problem with the two is not only that the relationship is dangerous, but it's also harmful for the immediate parties around them. While it seems like Krishan is the main reason behind the couple's toxic relationship, she would go into an interview to come out to address the public's concern about her relationship by saying, we're just here learning, figuring things out. We met each other, how we met each other, but that's it. However, now that Krishan has announced her pregnancy with Blueface, things are only going to get more messy, go Going forward, and that's what is the most concerning part for their fans watching. Number three, Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman. Like any couple, it's no secret that Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman have endured their fair share of issues throughout their relationship. After all, Keith has used some of their disagreements as inspiration for his songs. While the couple often tends to keep their disagreements away from the media, back in 2016, when Nicole was captured giving her husband a look that no husband wants to see, the internet would go into a frenzy while they try to figure out what happened. The confrontation would happen when they were at a movie premiere. Insiders would then tell the Daily Mail that things took a turn when Keith got upset over the couple's very busy schedules as they had spent the year apart. Apparently Keith wanted to return to Australia to be with their family, but Nicole on the other hand was just really sick of Keith sulking about them being apart and she just wanted him to be with her and support her career. Number 2. Rihanna and Chris Brown Back in the day, Rihanna and Chris Brown had a relationship that made us all raise our eyebrows. Eventually during their relationship, after headlines started to show that Chris got into a physical altercation with Rihanna, he would eventually be arrested and charged and eventually the stars would also call off their relationship. Just before the couple was at a pre Grammy party when they started arguing in a car. Later Rihanna would then open up about the altercation in an interview with Diane Sawyer. There she would claim that their altercation started after Rihanna saw a text from a girl on Chris's phone. Rihanna then said that she knew he was lying and that he knew he had nowhere to turn. However, Rihanna would then go on to know 
out that there had been warning signs that something bad was going to happen long before the incident. Apparently, the more the couple fell in love, the more they both started to realize how dangerous they were for another. Today, Rihanna has used her experience to help other young women going through similar situations. Number one, Mia Goth and Shy LaBeouf. Just before Mia Goth and Shy LaBeouf decided to split, they had quite a habit of getting caught on camera having these really public fights. Just before the two started dating, Shy actually met and fell in love with Mia Goth on a set of their movie. And eventually they decided to walk down the aisle. While the couple has now gone on their separate ways, they were involved in some pretty high profile and public fights while they were in Germany. In a viral video in 2015, the two could be seen screaming at each other. The footage in that video would then show Shy walking away from the scene and getting into a car as he explains that he didn't want to hurt Mia. Then a source would confirm that apparently when Mia tried to talk to Shy again, he would then respond to Mia by saying he was being pushed and he didn't want to be aggressive. At number 10, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. I remember when Selena and Justin were the talk of the town. Everyone was obsessed with their relationship, asking them questions about it, whether they were together on the red carpet or alone on a shopping trip. They started dating in 2011 when they were still teenagers, and from that point, they had a rocky time together. They were on and off again for a while before finally ending things for good in 2018 when Haley Baldwin came along. Already, people were aware of how toxic Selena and Justin's relationship was, simply because of how many times they had public breakups and makeups. But in early 2020, Selena came forward to talk more in depth about their relationship and how she experienced mistreatment. Selena said that she was, quote, a victim of certain abuse, saying that what she felt was emotional mistreatment from Justin. She also went on to say that it took her a long time to find strength in her experiences and to shake her, quote, victim mentality. Justin never released a statement in response, but in late 2019, he did open up about his actions in past relationships, saying that he became, quote, resentful and disrespectful to women and angry. We don't know at which point this started happening in their relationship, but it's good to see that they are both doing better since moving on. At number nine, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Now, having a list of toxic celebrity relationships you already know we're going to include Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's tumultuous relationship. A lot was uncovered during their massive court case last Last year that basically exposed Amber for having heard Johnny while they were together. We heard stories about Amber severing Johnny's finger with a glass bottle, many of the fights they had, and even recordings of Amber antagonizing and hurting Johnny. There were instances of physical abuse as well as verbal and emotional, showing the world how toxic things really were. We found out about how Amber had been cheating on Johnny and how she allegedly went out of her way to outshine him in their industry, always being ready to make big headlines to overshadow him. When one of the recordings showing Amber admitting to hurting her husband were released, it said that it quote, exposes that Miss Heard perpetrated serial violence against Mr. Depp. This went on for far too long, showing us that the toxicity ran deep and it made a mess of everything. Now before I go any further, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you are enjoying it so far. And also head on over to our gaming channel Viper Girl if you're looking to enjoy some chill gameplay vibes. At number eight, Tina and Ike Turner. Ike and Tina Turner were a powerhouse couple in the eyes of the media as well as fans, but behind the scenes, things were very messy and toxic. They first met while Tina was still a teenager and they soon hit it off and started performing together. Soon their duo catapulted them to stardom, bringing them a lot of success, but because they were so close, things got very toxic. They got married in 1962 and stayed together for the following decade, but Tina was living her life in pain. In her book, Tina wrote about how Ike was an abusive partner, saying, quote, he threw hot coffee in my face, giving me third degree burns. He used my nose as a punching bag so many times that I could taste blood running down my throat when I sang. He broke my jaw and I couldn't remember what it was like to not have a black eye, end quote. Things got so bad that Tina wanted to end her life, but thankfully she survived her attempt and she used her survival as fuel to get the strength to leave Ike and this toxic life behind. They eventually went their separate ways with Tina becoming a bigger star and becoming an advocate, raising awareness about abuse. At number seven, Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. American Horror Story stars Emma Roberts and Evan Peters had a very tumultuous relationship that unfolded in the public eye. Though they both moved on, there was a time when their toxic relationship took over their lives. They started dating in 2012 and they had their share of makeups, breakups, ups and downs until they officially ended things in 2019. Their relationship had its faults. 
People said that their attitudes towards each other would change a lot, going from having a lovely time together to not speaking to one another for days. Sources also said that while working together on American Horror Story, they would make life on set a living hell. An insider revealed that, quote, as soon as the director yells cut, Emma and Evan are making out. That is, if they're not screaming at each other, end quote. In 2013, they had an abuse scandal after Emma was arrested on domestic charges after the couple got into a heated argument. Though the incident left Evan with a bloody nose, they tried to move past it and carry on with their relationship. They weren't at all a good couple and it's best that they are no longer together. At number six, Rob Kardashian and Black China. One toxic relationship that was broadcast to the world was that between Rob Kardashian and Black China. Though their relationship was pretty short lived, things were still messy, toxic, and very public. The two got together in January 2016, and just a few months later, in April of that year, they announced their engagement. Fast forward to November of 2016, and they welcomed their daughter Dream into the world. Things ended as quickly as they started, and by February of 2017, they announced that they had split after trying to make things work for the sake of their daughter. During their relationship, they showed fans a glimpse into their lives as part of their reality show, Rob and China. During this time, sources said that they fought a lot and their actions were fueled by anger and revenge, and there were even allegations of domestic violence. This toxicity wasn't just exclusive to their relationship, however, as it also bled into the Kardashian family as well. They've been going head to head in legal battles and things have just been rocky ever since, showing that sometimes people really aren't meant to be together. Number five, Kris Jenner and Robert Kardashian. Kris Jenner definitely proved she hasn't always chosen the right path when it comes to her love life. And in the wake of her separation from Caitlyn Jenner, Kris Jenner would state that the only regret she had in her life was the fact that she got divorced from her first husband been Robert Kardashian back in 1991. Chris would then later talk about her marriage to Robert when she decided to publish a memoir. And in the memoir, she would reveal that her marriage only came crashing down after she decided to have an affair with her husband and their good family friend, Todd Waterman, while she was still married to Robert. Now you would think that the affair would have been her biggest regret in life, but at the end of the day, she really just regrets that she wasn't able to end up with Robert before he passed away in 2003. Later, the star would would also admit that if she didn't cheat, she would have never gotten with Caitlyn Jenner and gave birth to her two beautiful daughters, Kylie and Kendall. While she looked at it through that lens, she would then realize that she doesn't really have a lot of regrets when it comes to her life, except for cheating on her late ex-husband. Number four, James Cameron and Linda Hamilton. James Cameron's ex-wife, Linda Hamilton, has always described James as being a man married to his job. That was until he was gone and got married to somebody else. While James Cameron's 1997 film Titanic sunk his own relationship, his fourth wife, Linda Hamilton, once came out to shade James from the Titanic film point of view when she said, the Titanic was the mistress he left me for. The Terminator star then went on to describe every year she was married to the director as being one of the most terrible things to happen on almost every level. She also claimed that James was also consumed so much by his work almost every day with his cinematic Leviathan. In the 90s, during the couple's former divorce settlement, Linda would also be able to walk away with a $50 million settlement, and it would be described as being one of Hollywood's biggest divorce settlements that Hollywood has ever seen at this time. James then went on to get married quickly to his actual human mistress who happened to be the Titanic actress, Susie Miz. Number three, Alec Baldwin and Kate Basinger. After Alec Baldwin and his ex-wife Kim Basinger finally got divorced, their custody battle would go on over their daughter Ireland for years to come. Eventually an infamous voicemail would then start to be leaked all over media sites after Alec could be seen calling his daughter, who was 11 years old at the time, a rude and thoughtless pig. While the voicemail definitely went on to paint a not so pleasing picture of Alec, it really started to show how he treated his family. By 2008, the former couple's divorce would then be filed with hundreds of legal documents, 91 court proceedings, and approximately $3 million in legal fees. And things will remain pretty heated between the two. But it wasn't really shocking as how could you say such hurtful things about your own child? But more than a decade later in 2016, Kim would reveal that things between her and her ex finally cooled down as the pair noticed that they had to be better co-parents for their daughter as their feud was affecting her negatively. But thank goodness they came to that thought. Number two, Princess Diana and 
Prince Charles. Princess Diana's marriage to Prince Charles was extremely strained. And when the media began reporting about both of their infidelities, Queen Elizabeth once even had to write them a letter where she gave them one chilling demand. When the Queen urged both Diana and Charles to get a divorce, by August of 1996, her will would be done, as the young couple went their separate ways after a notorious stressful marriage. However, things would become even darker as after Charles and Diana finally finalized their divorce, Diana would be stripped of her royal highness status, so the family could make a mockery out of her. This meant that she would have to curtsy to those who had it, including her own children. Later Diana would pass away in a mysterious car crash after she started to leak royal secrets to the press. And since her passing has many conspiracy theories that all point fingers at the royal family as they claim, but seriously, the fact she knew she was going to pass away in a car crash just weeks before it happened is a pretty unsettling thought. And coming in at number one today, we have Madonna and Guy Ritchie. Madonna and director Guy Ritchie had a pretty interesting eight year marriage to say at least. When the former couple's marriage came to an end in 2008, the material girl singer even had to pay Ritchie $92 million in a settlement. And their divorce is still highlighted to be one of the world's biggest divorce payouts to this day in Hollywood history. And if the couple's split couldn't get any more messier, this is when Madonna's lawyers also started to accuse Richie of being verbally incorrect as he couldn't stop calling Madonna a granny. While Richie's lawyers have also gone on to accuse Madonna of being emotionally controlling, the world would soon come to know that it isn't really easy to date Madonna as she rarely allowed her husband to eat meat and she never let him host his friends at their home. With the two having such a complicated relationship, maybe it isn't exactly a tragedy that they both split up. Cheating is never right no matter what the situation is and if you're having doubts about your partner, have a conversation with them instead of hurting them. At number 10, we have former acting couple Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher. The questionable age gap at the time of their relationship was already convincing enough for many to believe that their marriage would not make it to the end of time. The two met back when Demi was 25 and Ashton was 41, but the older star had three children closer in age to him than Demi was. With this fact in mind, there were also rumors of infidelity on his part and opening up their relationship to others that certainly did not help keep their marriage afloat. It's been reported by various sources that the most surprising outcome of the marriage ending is just how long it took for them to call it quits. Yikes. At number 9 we have another acting twosome who announced they were splitting, yet again, at no real surprise for fans. Apparently the ex-spouses were having an insane amount of marital issues for years before their separation. Alongside rumors of infidelity in their relationship, there were also apparently the tripling up of Ben's gambling and drinking problems. It probably didn't save their situation once Ben announced in his 2013 Oscar speech how he and Jennifer were working on their marriage at that point. Surely you may not all be that shocked to know with all that information that the two revealed the end of their marriage in 2015. At number 8 we have actress Gwyneth Paltrow and English singer songwriter Chris Martin who didn't make the public announcement that they decided to separate until 2014, following 10 whole years of marriage. There were very obvious signs between them that indicated they might not have been seeing a long future together and it seems fans were undoubtedly right on the money. Not one of them was caught off guard due to the fact that they would not post together on red carpets nor discuss one another in interviews they gave prior. In fact, when Gwyneth discussed her marriage in interviews, it was only to explain how hard it was for her to be married. Reportedly, there were cheating rumors involved with them and they were broadcasted as another Hollywood couple with an open marriage. Regardless, the very obvious signs that things were done so were clearly written in the stars long before the divorce papers were signed, stamped, and finalized. At number 7, we have actor Tom Cruise and actress Katie Holmes. Now these two were somewhat of a wreck just waiting to happen according to just about everybody. As soon as they went public with their love back in 2005, the public was already expecting a breakup to take place between the two of them. It was said to be mainly due to their age difference, but there were also loads of smaller issues that most likely played a huge part in their romantic demise. For one, Tom was 14 years Katie senior and there was the biggest and probably least surprising Scientology mess. Where Katie was brought up as a Catholic, Tom was heavily devoted to the practice of Scientology, which has its own slew of bad rumors and unethical practices and brainwashing techniques attached to its name. Then there was the fact that both Tom and Katie were at two very different places in their career at the time, which inevitably doomed their relationship from the get go. Where Tom was a megastar hitting all the biggest screens, Katie was just up and coming as an actress. Surprisingly enough, their marriage remained intact for six whole years, but on the opposite end, no one was quite shocked to see it go. At number six, we have former lovebirds from the second season of the reality series Love is Blind. Featured stars Danielle Rule and Nick Thompson are reportedly calling their marriage quit after a single year of being together. According to news sources that were 
scope for multiple online documents, Danielle filed for divorce in Illinois on August 15th at the Cook County Circuit Court. The one seemingly happy duo met and fell in love on Netflix's dating show and went on to tie the knot in June 2021. Their season finale wedding was featured in the show, which was released in February of this year. However, they haven't publicly confirmed their split when news sources originally made the discovery and began publishing their stories. More so, Danielle is still listed as a Thompson in her Instagram bio and handle. On June 8th, the couple posted sweet tributes on Instagram to mark the celebration of their one year wedding anniversary, so things seemed okay at that time. In fact, Nick's post featured an image of him and Danielle at their wedding, with an explanation that although marriages broadcasted on TV are tough, he and Danielle are quote, putting in the work to get to know each other and learn how to be partners for one another. The former spouses were the only pair of the two couples on season 2 of Love is Blind to end up tying the knot, as the opposite duo Ayana and Jarrett announced their plans to divorce just a few days after Danielle filed for her own separation paperwork, ironically enough. Many LIB fans were initially disappointed to know that these couples broke up, as season 1 couples Lauren and Cameron and Amber and Matthew are still together to this day. At number 5, Beyonce and Jay-Z Even though they are one of the industry's most famous couples, that doesn't mean they aren't toxic. Though Queen Bey and Jay-Z are seen by many as a Hollywood power couple, they have also had their troubles and toxicity, and they seem to have started back in 2014. It all started when Solange and Jay-Z got into that big elevator fight at the Met. For a long time, no one really knew what the reason was for this brawl. Some thought it was money, others thought it was family drama, but apparently it was because he had been confronted about an alleged affair he was having with his former business partner's ex-wife. Though no one really acknowledged or spoke about this apparent infidelity, things started to get even more toxic in 2016 after Beyonce released her album Lemonade, where she made several subtle and not so subtle comments on her husband's alleged affair. Of course, instead of talking about it in private, Jay-Z instead released his own album in response where he apologized to his wife for his infidelity and addressed some of the issues in their relationship. After all of this music drama, the two of them were able to work through their differences and have sought out couples therapy to rebuild their bond. No one knows if this scandal still hangs over their head and if that toxicity is still there, but at least they're trying to work through it civilly. At number 4, Tana Mojo and Cole Kerrigan Social media feuds can often bring out the most toxic relationships. Even though they have reportedly been friends for some time, influencers Tana Mojo and Cole Kerrigan have been caught in a feud after Cole alleged that Tana hacked his social media accounts and tried to sue him for $100,000. Cole called Tana out after sharing a screenshot of a cease and desist text that he was allegedly sent by Tana's lawyer. The text he received essentially warned Cole that he was in violation of a contract that he had signed with Tana and that a breach of contract would subject him to pay $100,000. The contract in question, a non-disclosure agreement, is one that Tana allegedly has her circle of friends sign each year, and so now Cole is apparently in trouble after one of his social media posts violated the terms of said contract. Cole has also claimed that Tana hired someone to hack his social media accounts where they were then able to delete a number of his account, like his YouTube channel and Twitter account. Cole has also claimed that Tana has kicked him out of her house, used him for free makeup services, and would even go through his personal belongings when he wasn't home. Even friends who seem happy on the surface clearly have their dark, toxic secrets as well. At number 3, Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been the talk of the town ever since their bombshell Oprah interview, and they've been scrutinized for a lot of what they spoke about. One of the biggest things that people have taken away from the interview was their toxic relationship with their royal family. According to sources, one of the most strained relationships is that between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton. Meghan and Kate have reportedly been on poor terms for quite a long time, with some sources saying that they haven't spoken to each other in over a year. A lot of people say that things are toxic between the two of them, and this narrative was heightened because of the interview. During the interview, Meghan addressed the public's view on her feud with Kate over Princess Charlotte's dress at Meghan's wedding, saying that Kate made her cry over it. Though they eventually patched things up and Kate apologized, they haven't spoken to each other much and because of the feud between their husbands, it's added even more strain to their relationship. The royal family clearly has a lot of drama going on these days and even one of the world's most famous families can have its toxicity. Hopefully Meghan and Kate can one day patch things up for the sake of being rid of this negative energy. At number 2, Cardi B and Offset Rappers Cardi B and Offset have had a rocky and toxic relationship. Though they've been together for some time now and they have a daughter together, that doesn't mean that their relationship is all sunshine and rainbows. There have really been a few times where their behavior has opened up a lot of fans' eyes and have labeled their relationship as toxic. Rumors have been a part of their relationship for a while, the most common rumor being about cheating. 
in September of 2020, Cardi actually filed for divorce from Offset after rumors started circulating that he had cheated on his wife and he had actually gotten another woman pregnant during that time. Fast forward a month to October 2020 and the relationship was patched up after Offset bought Cardi a $300,000 car and a billboard dedicated to her. When Cardi took him back, that's when the internet started talking about how toxic their relationship really was. People were honestly very surprised that Cardi took Offset back even after everything he did to her, with some adding that Offset was using guilt and emotional manipulation to keep her in his life. In response to some fans' comments, Cardi defended her relationship saying that it wasn't toxic as everyone believes and that she is not in an abusive relationship. Does the fact that she is defending her husband make you think that they are in fact toxic or just misunderstood? Let me know down in the comments. Finally, at number one, Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick. The Kardashians have seen their fair share of toxic relationships, Obviously, but out of all of them, Courtney and Scott's relationship has to be one of, if not the most, toxic. Courtney and Scott have been on and off again since 2006, and even though they've broken up so many times, they can't seem to distance themselves from each other enough. The pair co-parent their three kids, but they also cause a lot of drama whether or not they are together. But they've never been completely out of each other's lives since Scott is also part of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians lineup. Because they've been through so much together, fans continue to ship them, but really, we shouldn't be romanticizing their toxic relationship. In the past, Scott has cheated on Courtney, and even when they were broken up, has said that he's dated other women, specifically those much younger than him, only to make Courtney jealous. Courtney and Scott also struggled with Scott's substance abuse problem, with Court once going so far as to tell Scott that if he didn't get help, she wouldn't allow him to see their kid, and for a long time, Scott refused to get help. Things finally ended for good in 2015 when Scott was accused of cheating with one of his exes and Courtney just had enough of his infidelity. From that point, they haven't been in an official relationship, but they haven't kept their distance either. Courtney has made comments about having another kid with Scott even though they aren't together, and Scott has been very vocal about how heartbroken he is to see Court in a new relationship. Bottom line here is that they are toxic and that we have to stop giving in to them. Starting off our list at number 10 today, we have Beyonce and Jay-Z. Back in January of 2015, Beyonce and Jay-Z had anything but a quiet sushi night as the megastar couple was captured getting into it at Sushi Park Restaurant in Los Angeles. In released photos, Beyonce could be seen yelling at her husband. And later, OK Magazine would then speculate that the altercation happened because Jay-Z's non-stop cell phone use during dinner. However, like many mysteries and the fact that the couple usually tends to keep their private life, you know, pretty private, no one can say for sure what the two may have been arguing about. However, this wouldn't be the couple's first public fight since back in 2014, the couple had an infamous elevator incident that first brought potential difficulties in their relationship to light, and both have explored marital conflict in their albums 444 and Lemonade, respectively. But it seems like all is well now as they continue to gush about each other in interviews and back in 2017, Jay-Z also said he was really proud of the art Beyonce was releasing, and he also noted that she was amazing. Coming in number 9, Emma Roberts and Evan Peters. Just before Emma Roberts and Evan Peters split for good, the American Horror Story co-stars in 2013 were caught on camera while they had a pretty serious physical fight. While it may have seemed at the time that the two were actually a perfect couple in Hollywood, it was anything but perfect. When the two stars started to make headlines after they had a pretty public fight in Montreal, the New York Daily News would then report that the Montreal police had to attend to the scene after people called in a domestic situation. When the police showed up to the couple's hotel room, they would find Evan with a handful of injuries which included a bloody nose and a bite mark. The police then opted to arrest Emma on the scene even after Evan chose not to file charges against her. Although Emma was released, the paparazzi would then capture her breaking down when she learned the news had reached the media. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number 8, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth. When Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth posed at the LA premiere of the Avengers Endgame in 2019, their red carpet smiles didn't last too long. As the two widely displayed their different styles and tensions between them were pretty palpable. When Miley couldn't stop talking about how she wanted to let her hair down and have a crazy fun night out, Liam was there to support his brother Chris and was hoping to have a fairly chilled evening. And it appears neither of them would end up leaving the red carpet happy at the end of the night. As Miley 
you know, did Miley, as she was seen vamping it up for photographers, and her Aussie actor hobby at the time grew increasingly uncomfortable, resulting in the famous duo getting into their first major fight as a married couple. And you could even see Liam at one point on the red carpet telling Miley to behave. After the two then walked off the red carpet, Liam would then angrily accuse Miley of turning the premiere into the Miley show. And once the couple got home, a source would then reveal that they got into a big fat argument. And then jump to the day, Miley wrote a song called Flowers that highlights their relationship and how it was never perfect. And it's been number one on the billboards for the last three weeks. And she even took a jab at Liam in the music video by wearing the suit he wore that night on the red carpet. At number seven, we have Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. Before Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck decided to go their separate ways, the world was pretty shocked to learn that their marriage was anything but perfect. While there were plenty of rumors in 2015 that suggested Ben had been unfaithful in their marriage with the family's former nanny, after the couple returned home from vacation, a fight would break out shortly after and this is when they dropped their three children off at school. Onlookers would then tell in touch that Jennifer and Ben were in their SUV when things started to get a little out of hand. They even started to claim that there was lots of gesturing through it all. And the photos and videos captured, you could see Jennifer crying. This is when people started to believe that Ben was making it clear that their marriage was over and that he was going forward with the divorce. Number six, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. At one point in time, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt were Hollywood it couple and you couldn't turn around without seeing them mentioned somewhere in the street. But it seems like after the couple filed for divorce and went their separate ways, they have been hitting headlines for some pretty serious accusations. Before the couple ultimately decided to part ways, they would be spotted at Legoland in Windsor and they would be spotted coming off this ride with their children and the couple could be seen getting into a pretty serious argument where Brad would be shown touching Angelina's arm before she pulled away and decided to to shout in the actor's face while they were in public. The people who captured the photos then said they saw the couple again later and they looked like they were still arguing sometime later. At number five, Luann and Tom D'Agostino. Nothing says toxic like reality TV. Everything on those shows are incredibly toxic, so to have one feature a toxic relationship wouldn't really be much of a surprise. Real Housewives of New York cast members Luann and Tom D'Agostino were once a couple whose poor relationship was broadcast to the world. Apparently, everyone in the cast knew about how toxic things were, and some of them actually warned Luann about Tom, saying that he was untrustworthy and that he was still pining after his ex. This complicated things, but they still carried on with their relationship, and the two got married on New Year's Eve in 2016. Towards the end of the show's eighth season, it was revealed that one of the Real Housewives cast members had photos of Tom kissing another woman just days after his and Luann's engagement party. Soon, it became apparent to the public that there were some serious troubles in their relationship. Luann and Tom even got into a heated argument in public at a restaurant, which ended with Luann slapping Tom across the face. This toxic relationship and Tom's constant infidelity was never resolved until the very end. They were only married for seven months, and those were probably some of the most toxic seven months of their lives. At number four, Axl Rose and Aaron Everly. Moving on to a toxic relationship from the rock world, we have the tumultuous relationship of Axl Rose and Aaron Everly. Their relationship was very publicized and is one that is certainly ingrained in the rock world. The two met at a party in 1986 while Axl, the front man for Guns N' Roses, was still an up and coming musician and the two formed an instant connection. Aaron quickly became one of the most important people in Axl's life, becoming the inspiration for the song Sweet Child of Mine. Despite being a beloved and good looking match on the outside, they actually had a very toxic relationship, but that didn't stop them from getting married in 1990 in a Las Vegas ceremony. The toxicity started even before they were married because according to Aaron, Axel allegedly threatened to harm himself if she didn't marry him, so already things were off to a pretty rocky start. Their marriage didn't really last very long as it was annulled in 1991, just nine months after getting married. Fast forward to 1994 and Erin filed a civil suit against Axel where she alleged that she had been a victim of a citing Axel as her attacker. Things have been messy since their split as Erin has auctioned off memorabilia that she had kept from her days with Axel and the band, looking to rid herself of any trace of her old ties with them, showing us that things really were quite toxic back then. At number three, Elizabeth Taylor and Conrad Hilton. Elizabeth Taylor was one of Hollywood's most memorable icons. Though she was incredibly successful in her professional life, her love life was not. Because she was married eight times, she had some regrettable relationships and some of them caused scandals, 
but others were just downright toxic. One of her shortest and most toxic marriages was to hotel heir Conrad Hilton. The pair were only married for 205 days before getting their marriage annulled after feeling neglected and abused by her new husband. This was her first marriage as she was only 18 at the time of her wedding, but shortly after they tied the knot, Liz started to notice how indifferent Conrad was to her, recalling how she would feel hurt by the abusive language her husband was using towards her. During their honeymoon, the two also reportedly fought a lot and spent more time apart than they did together. So things were off to a rough start from the very beginning. Eventually, Liz saw that nothing was going to change with Conrad and so she made the steps towards ending their marriage. Liz ended up winning her divorce on the grounds of mental cruelty. She also refused alimony and took back her maiden name. Essentially, she erased any connection she had to Conrad, almost pretending like it never happened. She later told news sources that her idea of marriage was naive and so she regretted her decision to marry him in the first place. At number 2, Jennifer Lopez and Ojani Noah. Jennifer Lopez has been in her fair share of high-profile relationships. She's even been married three times. Now, although those marriages didn't really work out, they ended on okay-ish terms, except for her marriage to Ojani Noah because that itch was just toxic. Their marriage lasted less than a year, but their relationship after their divorce was where things got super toxic. Ojani was seemingly only in the relationship to reap the benefits of being with a celebrity. He spent the time that they were together documenting much of his life with her as well as her habits behind the scenes, preparing them for his own tea spill if you will. This relationship was doomed from the start, but JLo just didn't see that until it was too late. I mean, you would think that your partner isn't trying to use you for money and clout, so why would you really be expecting that? After their divorce, Noah tried leaking intimate photos and videos of the couple on their honeymoon, and he even had plans to release a tell all book about the singer. It was almost like he was a behind the scenes paparazzi. JLo actually ended up suing Ojani in 2009 for $10 million, citing that the videos he released, as well as the book and movie deals, violated an agreement that they had which prohibited him from exposing the singer's life. That is some very toxic behavior. Using someone for your own personal gain is never a good thing. Finally at number one, Evan Rachel Wood and Marilyn Manson. Recently, actress Evan Rachel Wood came forward about her extremely toxic relationship with singer Marilyn Manson as she cited years of manipulation, brainwashing, and pain, outing the singer as her abuser. She opened up about some of the things that she endured and witnessed like starvation, sleep deprivation, threats, invasion of privacy, as well as anti-Semitism and racism. Sometimes this toxicity would bleed into other people's lives, as Wood alleged that Manson made threats against her loved ones as well. Manson's toxicity was apparent even after their relationship ended, as he said in an interview shortly after their relationship ended that he tried calling Evan while harming himself and then blamed her for his actions, saying, quote, I want to show her the pain she put me through. It was like, I want you to physically see what you've done. Like that is very disgusting behavior and it hurts my soul to know that anyone has ever experienced this kind of behavior. From enduring verbal and physical violence, Evan has now spoken out about her experiences and Manson has lost everything. As a result of the allegations against him, he was dropped by his music label and agent and is under investigation by the LA Sheriff's Department. The actress also condemned the music industry and his label for covering up the many instances of abuse, saying that they were aware of the circumstances behind the scenes. Evan also isn't the only person to come forward with similar allegations. Now the fight for justice is on and we are hoping for the best for Evan as well as everyone who bravely came forward and those still healing from the trauma. Starting off our list in the number 10 spot, we have Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth. When Miley released her new album, Endless Summer Vacation, some of her fans started to think that the album's lyrics contained cheating allegations against her ex-husband, Liam Hensworth. But both Liam and Miley first meeting in 2009 when they were both filming on the set of the last song. By December of 2018, they would finally tie the knot, and after being in an on and off again relationship for years, after they both split in 2019. When fans began listening to Miley Cyrus's new song, Muddy Feet, they were quick to link the tracks lyrics to Miley and Liam's relationship, in which Miley sings about smelling perfume that doesn't belong to her on her partner. When she sings, and you smell like perfume, I didn't purchase. Now I know why you've been closing the curtains. 
Get the F out of my house. I don't know who the hell you think you are messing with. Get the F out of my house with that stuff. Get the F out of my life with that. The point of track would come just two months after Miley released her first single off the album called Flowers, which she also sparked buzz among fans, as it was a dig at Hemsworth and proved that Liam did in fact cheat on the singer with Jennifer Lawrence, and it also went on to highlight the couple's marriage and that it was everything but perfect. And she never was the bad guy like Liam's family painted her to be. Number 9. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West If you think a lot has happened since season 2 of the Kardashians, Kim Kardashian agrees. As in the first trailer for the Kardashian season 3, the mom of 4 can be heard saying, I don't even know where we left off. When the producer reminds her that last season the Skims founder was dating Pete Davidson, she would then say, things changed really quickly. The trailer then took a sad turn after Khloe Kardashian asked Kim if she's feeling okay about everything, and this is where we can see Kim Kardashian breaking down when she says no, I'm not okay, I'm having such a hard day today. Amid Kim's divorce from Kanye West, her mother Kris Jenner can even seen being telling her daughter, saying that she has the weight of the world on her shoulders. Later Kim can even be seen talking about what Kanye had to say about their kids being on social media during their heated divorce when she said it was the most insane narrative and she was trying just to stay silent through all of the lies for her kids say. With season 3 premiering on Hulu May 25th, we know there's about to be some more drama to come with Kim and Kanye's dark divorce and you can expect us to keep you all up to date on it. Hey everyone, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, you know, subscribe to the channel so you never have to miss out on what we might just cover next. And trust me, you definitely want to tune into the next video. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we have Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. When Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise finally got divorced after being married for 5 years, fans would be shocked to learn that she made a decision to leave her ex-husband because she had reason to fear for her life and her daughter's life. With Tom being heavily involved in the controversial religion Scientology, he has been a well-devoted member of the church. With the Church of Scientology being known for treating defectors with intimidation and brainwashing techniques, when Katie finally realized what the church was doing to her and her daughter, she knew she had to get away. So in order to do so, she immediately went into hiding when the news of their split broke. Katie had to do so because she couldn't let anyone know, including Tom, where she was going because she had to get out and stay safe. The matter would be resolved in 11 days and Katie would be granted physical custody of the couple's former daughter and it would even be stated that Tom couldn't bring their daughter anywhere near the church and Katie wouldn't be allowed to have any public relationships for 5 years as Tom was scared it would embarrass him. But it makes you wonder what the church did that scared Katie so much. Number 7. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie When Brad Pitt started with Marianne Cotillard in the drama Allied in 2016, rumors began circulating online and in them they would claim that Brad was cheating on Angelina Jolie with his co-star. Of course, as many would remember in the past, the same rumor also plagued Brad when he was married to Jennifer Aniston. As when he was working on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the tabloids kept claiming that he was cheating on Jennifer Aniston with Angelina Jolie. With the rumors reaching a fever pitch, this is when we would see Angelina Jolie filed for a divorce from her ex-husband Brad Pitt on September 16th, 2019. But the truth would become so much darker than that. With the story honestly being a speculation as it follows, it has also alleged that the couple's relationship would come to an end after Brad was under the influence on a private plane with his family. And during an argument with Angelina, when his adopted son stepped in to defend his mother, Angelina Jolie would claim that Brad actually struck him. And just 5 days later, Angelina would then file for a divorce but that's not all. The Los Angeles Department of Child and Family Services and the FBI would then be called in to investigate the matter. Pitt would ultimately be cleared, but a long custody battle would end with a heartbreaking ending while Brad and Angelina agreed to share custody of their six kids, and Brad and his son have now remained estranged. Number 6. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard During Johnny Depp's and Amber Heard's bitter court battles, things got a little heated for both the stars, and their darkest secrets would be revealed within their messy feud. Shortly after Amber filed for divorce in May of 2016, just 15 months after her marriage came to an end, Amber would accuse Depp of getting into a physical argument with her, and she went on to obtain a temporary restraining order against him. The actress also initially requested that she should be given spousal support from Johnny, but later withdrew her appeal. Johnny and his lawyers have since denied Amber's claims, even after the two finalized their divorce back in 2022. The duo would also enter into a highly publicized defamation trial.
trial where they would accuse each other of some pretty gruesome claims. However, at the end of the day, the jury ultimately ruled in favor of Depp and then ordered Amber to pay her ex-husband $15 million in damages after they found and proved she acted with malice to ruin Johnny's career. After the jury's findings, they also did determine that Depp's attorney did make one defamatory statement about Amber and she would be awarded $2 million in compensation. But the whole trial didn't exactly paint Amber to be the person she was trying to make the world believe she was. At number 5, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Brangelina used to be one of the hottest celebrity matches in Hollywood. Once upon a time, they were seen as the industry's it couple having spanned over 10 years and raising many kids together, but their divorce is where things got toxic and messy. When the couple announced they were calling it quits in 2016, a lot of people wondered why, and one of the answers given was because of a dispute that Brad had allegedly had with Angelina about his substance abuse that resulted in Brad getting into an altercation with their oldest son Maddox. It was alleged that Brad was abusive and though an investigation cleared him of said allegations, Angie is now saying that she's prepared to show proof that Brad was in fact hurting his family. Recently, Angelina came forward saying that she is willing to offer her children's testimony against Brad as proof and this could blow the doors off their relationship, giving us more information about how toxic things really were. At number 4, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West with the recent divorce announcement from Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, we are finding out more about the demise of their marriage. It turns out they felt that their relationship was crumbling towards the end of last year, and the couple decided to seek different living arrangements, spending time apart as a result of quote, downright toxicity in their marriage. Though they said they wanted to make things work, according to sources, it reached a point where quote, bickering turned into nasty blowups and confrontations, end quote. They didn't want to expose their kids to this kind of negativity, and they took some time apart, but that time apart is looking to be a lot longer now. After Kanye reportedly blew up at Kim, they were never able to patch things up after that, and so they filed for divorce. Before all of this happened, they seemed to have been on good terms as they supported one another through every bump in the road, but in recent months, their support and good conversation turned cold and apparently evolved into them only speaking when necessary and only talking about menial things like what to have for dinner. I'm wishing them all the best in the days to come as they sort out their affairs. At number 3. Eminem and Kim Mathers. When asked about some toxic relationships they know of, a surprising amount of people reference rapper Eminem and his ex-wife Kim Mathers. Eminem, whose real name is Marshall Mathers, met Kim in a youth home in 1988 when they were teenagers. From that point, they stayed by each other's side, even living together at his mother's home. From that point until 1999, the two had a rocky relationship being on and off again. And in 1995, they had a daughter and later on, they got married. Their wedding took place on June 14, 1999, just before Marshall's first major tour as his career was taking off. Kim said that this tour took the greatest toll on their marriage, saying, quote, When Marshall's tour first started is when his ego went boof, like he was a god. That's what he thought. I was just told that I should be grateful that he still talks to me. You know how many women throw themselves at him, and I pretty much felt like a piece of crap. End quote. From then, their marriage went downhill as they were met with cheating scandals and mental health struggles. Eventually, they got a divorce in 2000, remarried in 2006, then divorced again, this time ending things for good. They're reportedly still friends, but being in a romantic relationship just was too toxic for them. At number 2, Mel Gibson and Oksana Grigorova. Mel Gibson is probably one of the most hated people in Hollywood. I think it's safe to make that assumption after all the scandals he's been in surrounding his hate for so many people. Mel has been in a toxic relationship before, and many of us are aware of the horrible ways he's treated people, especially his former partner, Oksana Grigorova. The two had a very messy breakup in 2010, and at this time, an audio recording came out that showed Mel yelling at Oksana and saying horrible things to her about her body because he was mad that she allegedly lied to him about having breast implants. In the recording, Mel was heard saying horrible things about how he hated the way she looked, claiming she looked provocative and inappropriate, and even saying that if she were to be taken advantage of, it would be her fault for looking the way she did. This was a nasty, swear word ridden rant that honestly no one deserves to hear. If this recording didn't paint enough of a toxic picture, then I don't know what would. And finally at number one, Mike Tyson and Robin Givens. Back in the late 80s, Mike Tyson was dating model Robin Givens. Shortly after they started dating, Robin announced that she was pregnant with Mike's child, and so he married her to quote, do the right thing. 
Mike had given Robin and her mother $15 million in order to get themselves settled in a nice house, and it seemed like Mike took care of them. But after a few months passed, Mike noticed that Robin's pregnancy wasn't progressing, and that's when she told him that she actually had lost the baby months prior and just didn't tell him. He was hurt by this discovery, but still stayed by her side. It wasn't until their famous Barbara Walters interview came out that things really cracked for the couple and things got toxic. The interview was originally supposed to be an exclusive with Mike, but apparently just before getting started, Robin pulled Barbara aside to tell her that she had some things she wanted to say, and then proceeded to speak out about how Mike had allegedly been hurting her, saying that she was being mistreated in the relationship. They soon divorced after, but people believed that the whole truth wasn't uncovered. Sources say that Robin was manipulating Mike and that things had been toxic because of her, but Mike just let it happen. It's confusing and messy, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Now I also want you guys to tell me about any other celebrities that should be on this list. I know there have been many other toxic celebrity relationships, so leave some suggestions for more people to include on this list. At number 10, Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. Justin Timberlake was exposed this year after the truth came out about his toxic relationship and breakup with Britney Spears back in the early 2000s. The Framing Britney Spears documentary that was released recently looks into the way the pop star was shown in the media, from paparazzi to interviews, and it dives deep into how this stardom affected her. A big part of the documentary explores Justin Timberlake's role in the media's mistreatment of Britney. After their relationship ended, Justin made Britney look like a villain in the relationship, accusing her of cheating and essentially weaponizing their breakup to boost his career. The media then went on a frenzy blaming and shaming her when she really didn't deserve it. People's eyes were opened into just how toxic their relationship and subsequent breakup was, and a lot of sympathy has been given towards Britney as the truth has finally come out about the whole thing. For a long time, people People saw the pop star as the villain, but now we've learned that she was really just a victim of a toxic relationship. At number 9, Ariel Winter. Modern family star Ariel Winter has had a toxic relationship with her family, and things were so toxic in fact that she was emancipated from them. Her family drama was outed as the court hearing for her emancipation trial went public back in 2012, and it showed the public how she was treated specifically by her mother. It was alleged that Ariel's mom interfered with her daughter's work because of her quote, harassment and interference. There were reports of her mom not feeding Ariel and dressing her in a way that was inappropriate for someone her age. It was also reported that Ariel's mom had repeatedly laid hands on her child as well. There were a number of testimonies that painted a toxic image of Ariel's family, and she was eventually granted emancipation after a three-year battle. Some of the most heartbreaking toxic relationships are those between family because they're the ones who are supposed to love you the most but they can also hurt you the most. Before I carry on with the video, I would just like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video because it really does help us out a lot. At number eight, Chad Johnson and Evelyn Lozada. Chad Johnson, also known as Chad Otrocinco and ex-wife Evelyn Lozada, were only married for two months, but so much toxic drama happened in that short amount of time to permanently damage their relationship. Their relationship had been intense for a long time, but it wasn't until after they got married that the world learned just how toxic it was. After dating for less than a year, the two got married in the 4th of July ceremony in 2012, but just two months later, there came an incident that shattered their relationship. Evelyn recalled finding a receipt in Chad's car for items that prompted the idea that Chad was cheating. The two fought and it all ended with Chad seriously injuring his wife. Chad was later arrested for battery and domestic violence, and they divorced shortly after the incident. Evelyn did an interview after the ordeal where she opened up about her feelings on the situation. You know, I knew that he was lying, and um, I told him, I, I never forget telling him, I said, I'm not sticking by you through this. I don't care if my marriage is the laughing stock. And the two eventually went their separate ways. Overall, the relationship burnt out really quickly, but it was fueled by toxicity, and in the end, no one really deserves to have that in their lives. At number seven, Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose. Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose were married for some time after tying the knot in 2013, but after 14 months of marriage, things got toxic, they divorced, and it was a nasty breakup. There were allegations of cheating, and custody of their son was also up for debate. Years later, Amber Rose opened up about her brief marriage to Wiz Khalifa and the toxicity around it, and spoke about her regrets concerning their relationship. She once said how she regretted getting married when she did, because they didn't give themselves enough time to grow in their relationship, and this was one of the things that contributed to the hostility. Amber also said that she felt as though they would have had more success in their marriage had they gotten married later in life, calling their wedding a mistake at the time. They took some time and have grown to be friends, so maybe this toxicity has been forgotten about by them, but not so much
much by their longtime fans. At number six, Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. Here we have yet another toxic Kardashian relationship. In one of my previous videos, I talked about how Kim and Kanye's relationship was toxic, but here's another one that contained a bombshell cheating scandal. Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson have had a very difficult relationship. Things were apparently toxic from the very beginning since it was believed that Tristan was cheating on his ex with Khloe when they first got together, so the infidelity in their relationship was apparent from the get-go. Things were going pretty okay for a while with Chloe even getting pregnant with Tristan's baby, but in April 2018, just shortly after their daughter True was born, photos of Tristan appearing to cheat were leaked, and TMZ even leaked footage from 2017 showing Tristan kissing women at a club. This was a huge deal, especially as this all came out around the birth of their daughter, but what surprised a lot of people is how quickly Chloe got over it. Things mostly died down after a few weeks, but later in 2019, more cheating allegations came out, detailing how he had been cheating on Chloe again, this time with their longtime family friend, Jordan Woods. This was supposedly the nail in their relationship's coffin, but now in 2021, there have been reports saying Chloe and Tristan are back together and that Chloe has mostly gotten over his infidelity. This doesn't look good and really just looks like a toxic mess, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with them. Halfway number five, Hoda Kotob and Joel Schiffman. After eight years of being together, Hoda and Joel announced that they will be ending their engagement. Hoda made the announcement on January 31st on Today with Hoda and Jenna after some viewers wondered why she was no longer wearing an engagement ring. She revealed that over the holidays, her and Joel had a lot of meaningful conversations where they realized they were better off as friends than an engaged couple. So they decided to start off the new year with a different type of relationship where they are no longer romantically involved. In at number four, Josh Flagg and Bobby Boyd. Million dollar listing Los Angeles star Josh Flagg announced in 2022 that he was splitting from his husband, Bobby Boyd. The pair had been married for five years. Flag announced the news in an Instagram post, writing, quote, Bobby and I are divorcing. This might sound abrupt, but I felt I should be transparent from the top rather than bury the headline. This was not a rash or impulsive decision. We have been very thoughtful before coming to this conclusion. He continued that the pair did not fall out of love, rather they felt that they were growing in different directions and could no longer be there for each other in the ways that they needed. And in number three, Ashley and Michael Darby. The Real Housewives of Potomac star Ashley Darby has announced her divorce from her husband, Michael. Darby announced the news on Instagram where she wrote in part that quote, almost eight years ago when Michael and I said I do, we anticipated sharing every single day together from that moment forward. Unfortunately, that's not our current reality. We have decided to separate. She explained that there was no reason for the decision, but it was a mix of many things. And that people will speculate the decision was made for various reasons. Adding quote, people will be quick to assume that the causes were too much intrusion by reality TV into the most personal parts of our lives, age gap issues, cultural problems, or child rearing differences. Pieces of all these may have affected our pure love for each other, but no one reason is the root cause of our mutual decision. A source close to the couple said they had been having serious issues for the last year, and there's been a huge disconnect between them as a couple. In at number two, Pamela Anderson and Dan Hayhurst. Pam and Dan have sadly been only married for a year, but have already decided to end their marriage. A source described the relationship as a whirlwind romance that simply ran its course. After their wedding, the pair were not getting along and decided to take a break from each other. Another source claimed that Pam rushed into this marriage because she saw the relationship as a fresh start, but the spark was starting to fade and she was having regrets. Apparently, Dan was trying to make it work between them, but Pam knew it was time to end things. And he knew source said, quote, there was no straw that broke the camel's back, but rather Dan is not the man she hoped he was. This was Pamela's sixth marriage. She's been married five times in the past, twice to the same man. And finally, number one, Ali Wong and Justin Hakuda. Comedian Ali Wong recently announced that her and her husband of eight years, Justin Hakuda, are divorcing. A source told People, quote, it's amicable and they will continue to co-parent lovingly. The divorce news is not a shock to some fans who felt she was hinting at being unhappy in her marriage in multiple Netflix specials. The former couple met at a wedding reception in 2010 when he was a Harvard business student. They got married in 2014 and had their first daughter a year later, followed by another girl in 2017. During her 2016 Netflix stand-up special, Baby Cobra, Wong joked how she trapped her husband to be with her after learning he was going to Harvard Business School. A sour spot for the couple was most likely how often Wong ripped on her marriage during her comedy. Once when speaking about her marriage, she said, quote, like an idiot, I asked this dude to ask me to go to prison and I'm in monogamy jail and I don't know how to get out. 
She even joked in the same special that she thinks of cheating every five minutes, but no good opportunities have taken place. Alrighty guys, so that's all for the list today. Let me know your thoughts below and let me know any other celebrity splits that I missed. That could be in a part two. I mean, I guess only it's only been a few months of 2022, so there will probably be many more to discuss in the months that come, which is really unfortunate, but I guess that's kind of how the world works these days. People get divorced. What is it, like half of all couples? You know, it's really sad, but I guess it is, kind of is what it is. At number 10, Chris Brown and Rihanna. One of the most toxic relationships out there was that between Chris Brown and Rihanna. No one is quick to forget that incident that happened after the pre-Grammys party in 2009. Though they were seen as the industry's it couple, things were far from perfect and were clearly very negative and toxic. On the night before the Grammy Awards, Chris and Rihanna got into a serious physical altercation, which left Rihanna hospitalized from her injury. Chris was labeled as a monster for what he did that night. A police investigation was conducted and Chris pled guilty to felony assault. As a result, he was sentenced to five years probation and six months community service. A lot of people believe that he should have been given a harsher sentence because of how severely he hurt his girlfriend, but what do you guys think? Did he deserve more punishment or did he get what he deserved? At number nine, Mariah Carey and James Packer. Apparently, Mariah Carey is a horrible person. In the past, we've heard stories from people who've worked with the singer saying how she is so mean behind the scenes, but apparently the same goes in her romantic relationships as well. Yeah, maybe all she wants for Christmas is you, but at what cost? According to some sources, her relationship with James Packer was the most toxic. She allegedly treated him like garbage, even throwing his personal items, including his laptop, out of a window, all because he played a Beyonce song. Their relationship ended just before they were set to get married because she, quote, wasn't happy with his behavior, but James' management fired back, claiming that Mariah was twisting things. Bottom line is that things were toxic and needed to end. Now before I go any further, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video and also head on over to my gaming channel, Viper Girl, if you're looking to enjoy some more awesome content. At number eight, Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio. I couldn't imagine the pressure of being an A-list star. The public's eyes are always on you from your everyday outings to your love life. Having a relationship must also be very difficult when you're famous because everyone feels entitled to having an opinion on your love life. When one of Hollywood's biggest stars, Marilyn Monroe, got married to Joe DiMaggio, it was a very big deal. Everyone thought that the actress and the athlete looked like a beautiful match who were deeply in love, having met and married within a relatively short amount of time. Really, at the time, they were hashtag relationship goals. They got married in a quiet city hall ceremony in January 1954 and turned a work trip to Japan into their honeymoon as they had to squeeze their special day in between work engagements. But just nine months later, their spark had faded and their relationship was over. The problem was that Joe allegedly wanted Marilyn to be a stay-at-home wife, but because Marilyn was at the height of her career and she loved her work, she wouldn't agree to that and she just wanted to keep working. Joe also apparently had a hard time coming to terms with his wife's public image, being a Hollywood idol, and apparently her famous subway gate scene was the last straw for him. Their marriage ended with Marilyn citing mental cruelty as one of the reasons behind their divorce because of how toxic things had become. She didn't like how her husband refused to support her and that's just not the kind of energy she needed in her life. At number seven, Kate Moss and Pete Doherty. There are many ways that a relationship can be toxic. It can be more one-sided or it can be mutual. Kate Moss and Pete Doherty's relationship was one that was toxic from both sides. Though they were engaged at some point, they still had their problems. In an interview, Pete once said that with Kate, he was quote, always dodging bullets. He claimed that Kate had a bad temper, saying that she once accused him out of the blue of having an affair and then verbally and physically assaulted him. On the other hand, Kate had a big problem with Pete's substance abuse, demanding that he quit, but also taunting him with substances of her own. They were an on and off again couple who really just weren't good for each other. They kept going back to each other until around 2007, where they decided to stay apart for good. And it was a very toxic situation, but their breakup was probably for the best. At number six, Saweetie and Quavo. No one really acknowledged it until recently, but singer Saweetie and rapper Quavo had a very toxic relationship. The pair recently announced their breakup, and though it started off looking like a simple case of two people growing apart, soon the public found out that there was more to the story than once thought. Shortly after announcing their breakup, footage was leaked which showed the former couple fighting in an elevator. 
footage showed the two of them in a physical altercation, showing Saweetie trying to strike Quavo, a suitcase being thrown, Quavo falling on top of his girlfriend, and ending with Saweetie limping away. Though this footage was from a year ago, it gave people a different perspective on how their relationship was at the time. Their problems were only just now publicized and sort of exposed the two of them for being toxic. Both Saweetie and Quavo have said that they've moved on from this incident, and Quavo issued a statement assuring that he's never abused his girlfriend. Their breakup has caused some drama within Quavo's family, making this a very toxic situation. Number 5. Kenan Thompson and Christina Evangeline On April 7th, a report announced longtime SNL star Kenan Thompson and his wife Christina Evangeline had decided to divorce after being separated for more than a year. The pair, who remain amicable, share two daughters, Georgia and Gianna, and the two first married in November 2011 at the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta. Nice spot. Sorry it didn't work out. Number 4. Thomas Ian Nicholas and Colette Marino American Pie star Thomas Ian Nicholas Three first names, nice. And Colette Marino, or house music artist DJ Colette, are getting divorced. Marino filed for divorce with the cause being irreconcilable differences. A solid reason, I'd say. They listed the date of separation as September 2019. The couple wed in 2007 and shared two children, a son named Nolan and a daughter named Zoa. Number three, Sam Hunt and Hannah Lee Fowler. Sam Hunt's wife, Hannah Lee Fowler, filed for divorce in Tennessee after nearly five years of marriage. The Alabama native nurse accused the country superstar of cheating on her in court documents. She also disclosed she is pregnant. It was not publicly known that the former couple were expecting their first child, but uh, now it is, obviously. Number 2. Angelina Pivernick and Chris Laringira Jersey Shore star Angelina Pivernick and her husband Chris are calling it quits for the second time. Chris filed for divorce from the reality star on January 20th, 2022. The pair married in November 2019 with Angelina first filing for divorce in 2021, but that time they worked out their differences. Maybe they will again, maybe they shouldn't. Who can say, not me. And number one, Joe Gatto and Bessie Gatto. Impractical Joker star Joe Gatto announced at the start of the new year that he and his wife of eight years, Bessie Gatto, were divorcing. The former couple share two children, daughter Milana and son Remo. Neither Joe nor Bessie gave a cause for the split, which obviously they don't have to, but the prankster did reveal it was forcing him to leave Impractical Jokers. 